Today, local leaders passed a measure that would seek funding for another gun buyback program. Yeah, this would be the second one to be held in the city, but not everyone agrees that these buybacks make a difference. KPRC 2's Brittany Jeffers, who's been following this story, joins us now live with the very latest. Brittany? At Kimberl Sabira, there was a lot of discussion about this agenda item today. There were some council members who are skeptical of the program, others very much in support of it. But ultimately, there were four council members that voted against it, but that agenda item did pass. Sheriff Gonzalez said that since he put overtime into the sheriff's department, uh, you know, the crime, he believes that there's been a reduction of crime because of that. So I would be in favor of you putting this $539,000 into more police officers where we know that we could get a good result. One thing may not be able to solve crimes, but if we add everything up together, then it should get us bang for our buck. So that's the way I think we should approach it. Public safety is our number one concern. We're all trying to find ways in which to reduce crime in our neighborhoods and our communities. I think it is important for us to be able to say that we are utilizing everything in our uh, power, in our toolkit, to drive crime down and create a public, uh, a, a safe community. So within the hour, that was uh, input from council members and the mayor referencing this $539,000 federal grant to purchase gift cards for future gun buyback programs. The mayor says about $100,000 will be allocated per gun buyback initiative. Now, these are part of Mayor Turner's One Safe Houston initiative, and essentially this is how it works. In exchange for surrendering a weapon to law enforcement at a designated collection site, the person donating that firearm will then receive a gift card in $50 increments depending on the firearm type. Now looking at the numbers here, the city of Houston's first gun buyback program in July, police collected 845 firearms, handing out $94,000 in gift cards. Now there are some research, however, out there that suggests that buybacks do little to deter gun crimes. A 2021 National Bureau of Economic Study looked at hundreds of similar programs between 1991 and 2015 and researchers for that study wrote, quote, our findings provide compelling evidence that gun buybacks held over the last three decades have done little to reduce gun crime or firearm related violence. So again, here in Houston, uh, city council this morning, that measure did pass. One thing to note, that second gun buyback uh, date has not yet been determined or announced. We'll continue to follow this and keep you updated. Reporting live near City Hall in Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News.